What's good, family? 93 Sports News back with another video. Before I start my commentary, um, I want to say, um, if you're a LeBron James fanboy, um, you might not like what I had to say. And I appreciate LeBron James coming out and being um, outspoken on a lot of different issues. I do, man. He, he He's done a lot of good things, like, on and off the court and you know with the whole Trayvon Martin thing that he did when he was back with the Miami Heat he talked about um, uh, not going to uh, basically boycotting uh, Donald Trump hotels and he's recently come out uh, saying uh, slamming the uh, the uh, traveling ban of Donald Trump. Now, my issue with LeBron James when he's coming out and making um, making all these uh, stances and stuff like that, and another one he he did I remember was when the uh, L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling got caught on uh, tape saying some uh, racist stuff. And he was saying how he, he he needs to be ousted from the league. And I agree with that 100%. And he was one of the forefront four leaders of getting uh, Donald, Sterling, Donald Sterling up out of the ownership of the uh, group, of the other 30 owners in the NBA. But my issue with LeBron is by him doing all this but. Dude, you you did cool and went back to Cleveland. Like, I, I don't get how can you go. Like, are right, you making all these stances and stuff like that? But you turned around at the whether whether people liked it or not that he went to South Beach in 2010. Whether people liked it or not, the decisions, the decision thing, to air it on TV. Regardless, that's besides the point. That owner, Dan Gilbert, spewed his displeasure of LeBron like no owner has ever done to any player, any individual player. He treated LeBron like he was on a slave plantation. Pretty much. And for you to... Four years later, after that, where he disrespected you, disrespected your, your family, and disrespected your pridehood as a man, and for you to want to go back there and go to that same organization, the same owner that's going to cut your check that you got to go see. Now, I know the owner, most owners are, you know, seen and not be heard kind of owners, but you still have to see this dude's president of the day. And for you to go back to that same owner that publicly disrespected you like that, come on, man. Like, like I, I, I don't want to sound like I do. I don't want to sound like a cat. Like I'm like, you know, not happy with LeBron James done off the court. Like, cause like I said, I like what he's done off the court. You know what I'm saying? He's done a lot of good things, but it's just the fact that you no, know, I. Me personally, a lot of people were happy to see him go back to Cleveland. I really wasn't. I mean, after they, after they won the, after they won the championship, I really thought LeBron James was gonna leave Cleveland. But he stayed and he signed a three-year extension. But in closing, it's just like I just can't. What I'm really trying to say is I can't take this dude too seriously on political issues when you basically buck dancing, you cooned a little bit and went back to a racist, white supremacist owner in Dan Gilbert. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't take you that seriously, in my opinion. That's just how I feel, man. But let me know what y'all think about this. 93 Sports News. I'm out. Peace.